by Committee 215. I'm Fred, joined by our special guest. This is where you clap. Brandon Flowers, everybody. Good afternoon, sir. Hello. How are you today? Great. Good. New album, out September 10th, Flamingo. Are you excited about it? Is it the 10th here? Yeah, I think so. 14th. Well, it ships on the 10th on your website. That's where I got the date. I'm just a little overzealous, I suppose. <laughs> so you said that it was the lonely, ex loneliest experience of your life. <laughs> That's what I keep reading. In the, what, so it wasn't? I don't know. It just keeps getting uh, lonelier and lonelier as it gets you know, spit back to me. It wasn't it, that lonely. Well, the ver version that I read, you were oh, actually had... on Tatooine in a cave uh, writing no, the album. I wasn't. It, uh, it was all right. You know, I did miss having... The other three killers there at times, but I got by <laughs> somehow. Because you got you got two kids now too, right? Yeah, and I got a wife. That's usually how that happens. Not always. There are times. I've seen a show on MTV called Teen Moms. I don't know if you've seen that one. I have. None of none of them were married. No. Nope. So does that change how you write the songs though? When you've got kids, I think it makes me a little bit more cautious. You second thing things that you would say or cautious in what way yeah i think uh I'm cautious about uh what uh output what i'm going to produce and what i'm going to put out into the world and you know what you know how they're going to perceive it when they're older all right what about you we got any questions Raina? emailed in sure we do we've got a few from edge listeners we're doing a live chat right now just in case you're not in on it uh on edge.ca you can ask your questions there um and we've got a few people asking how you feel about performing in smaller venues compared to having the big shows like last year at the Air Canada Center. It's, uh, it's, it's actually a nice change of pace. And, it, you know, it's very, it reminds me of the, the early days of the Killers. And it's nice to see, to see everyone again. <laughs> and, um, and, you know, you feel, you feel like you're more part of everything. Right on. Anybody tuning in right now, we've got Brendan Flowers. New album, Flamingo, out September 14th, not the 10th. Um, I was reading that your parents sent you to Las Vegas to straighten you out. Is that really what happened? I don't know where you're getting all this. Wikipedia, man. <laughs> I read about it. it it's, it's distorted. I guess it comes I back. I think anybody can go on those Wikipedias and, and kind of and just put, you know, you can, all, you can just go on and change things. So my, my entire line of questioning involving you working as a bellboy is just right out I the did work as I was a bell. I was a a bell person. Bell person. Is it a bell hop? What is a bell? Bell hop. hop yeah. yeah. Uh, you just you basically you you uh, you take people's luggage to their room or take their go grab their luggage from their room and bring it to their car uh, or store their luggage while they gamble or you know all kinds of different things. Because your website actually looks like it's set up like a one-armed bandit. Are you a big fan of gambling? Uh, well, it's, 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 a, it's a part of where I'm from, and it's, it's a part of everyday life, I guess. It's everywhere in Las Vegas. You go into the grocery store, and there's a section for gambling. You go into 7-Eleven, and there's six or seven slot machines. Uh, you know, it's, it's just that, you know, the combination of that and, yeah. So it's just like accepting your roots and all that stuff. Uh, I guess. It's, uh... I really like the website. I like it. It's, sound, it's, it's got good sound effects, too, when you click on everything. Yeah. Anyone tuning in right now, we've got Brandon Flowers in the studio. New album, Flamingo, out September 14th. Raina, more questions? Um, yeah, apparently you have a huge South American fan base, and they're all on the chat right now asking questions. They want to know if you're going to Argentina, uh, Chile, a whole bunch of, of places down there. They're wondering if you have any tour dates. <laughs> Uh, we, we, we haven't, uh, we haven't worked out a tour as of yet, uh, going that far south. It's possible, uh, but I definitely will be going there again with the Killers. I don't know if I'm going there on my own yet. <laughs> um, I love it, it there. I do. I love it there. We've had some amazing shows there. It's, well, they uh, seem to love you, that's for sure. <laughs> they found this, found this chat from, uh, from all the way down there. I had another one that's, uh, kind of like a cuter question. How would you describe your music, uh, solo or with the Killers as a color? As a color, mm -hmm. it's kind of an amber. <laughs> it is a very warm sound. It's kind of an amber right now. With the killers, it's more of a, it's more of a chrome. All right, shiny. Yeah. K, 
Did you know that there was a board game called Crossfire back in the 80s? I'm very aware of that, yeah. Okay, have, have you, since the song's been released as a single, have you broken out some Crossfire? I tried to find one at thrift stores to bring one in to play you a Crossfire <laughs> on the air live because it's really loud, but I couldn't find one. No, I, I haven't played it recently, but I th- I, I'm sure I did it at my buddy's house when I was younger. Yes, with the marbles? Somebody, did, somebody sent me a thing that says, Brandon Flower sold out. And it was pretty funny. They, they they put Crossfire to an old, an old commercial for the bo- for that game for the Crossfire game, and they played my song over it. And it's, uh, I thought that was. It does have a pretty intense like theme song as itself. Crossfire. Yeah. Get, get, never mind. We got another question. I'm just looking right now. I will have one in a second for you. Well, what happened with the mustache? I loved your mustache. I just want to say that it comes and goes. Yeah, Brandon Flowers in my opinion, brought the mustache back into fashion. I will say that openly. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, 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 it was strange. It was a strange thing. A couple years later, I, I had this, this gentleman was cutting my hair in London, and he had a, he had a great, uh, a little bit more of an exotic mustache than I ever had. He had swirls going on and everything, and he told me that I influenced that mustache. And uh, I guess I was honored. Well, it really just infuriates me because I can't grow a mustache. I tried to do one for Movember, and uh, I couldn't make it happen. You should try. You tr- got the chops. I know. It grows everywhere else. Just It's like fiber optic wire on my upper lip. It doesn't grow properly. I was thinking that you need to contact the people at Movember, which raises funds for prostate cancer, and become like the official spokes guy of Movember because you've got a great staff. <laughs> I'll look into it. My, my people call, call them. Because if you're ever thinking about going into acting or anything, you would make a great, like, Spanish Inquisitor with that mustache. <laughs> I could do it. I really think you could, because there's this picture of you on the internet, again, where you're playing the piano, and... Are you sure it's me? I, yeah, well, I'm fairly confident. It said your name on it, and you were, you were lighting it up. And then, yeah, I was like, I could get interrogated about Catholicism by this guy any day of the week. We got another question? Sure. Uh, we have someone who wants to know what your favorite song is off of Flamingo and why. Uh, I don't know if I have a particular favorite at the moment. I go back and forth. I love, I love, um, I love song. I love Magdalena is, uh, is probably my favorite. You know, I'm very proud of that song lyrically and I'm excited about that song. Good answer. Well, thank you for coming by the studio today. Brandon Flowers, everybody. New album on store shelves September 14th called Flamingo. Thank you once again for coming by. Thank you. All right, we're going to play Crossfire next, so stay right there. The following is a paid.